So we will gain the Iron Demon's Soul, which can make warding, which is a pretty fucking rad spell. Only problem is, we don't have anyone who can, you know, convert it from boss soul into spell. Hmm. What I'm considering doing is, I'm going to go... I, well, I've done that. I'm going to go to 2 1, and then maybe I'll try to do the first level of each. Well, not you for obvious reasons. What do you say? No. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that, man. Yeah. This is the only one I'm prob. I'll go in. I'm not going to beat the boss. Because getting to. Uh, getting to Leech Monk is actually kind of hard on a new character. At least for me, I have some trouble, so, you know. Anyway. First and foremost. Thank God. What do we got? Alright, so, we'll have to just dump this, because we can't use it. Um, and I'm not going to upgrade my weapons any further. That'd be kind of cheating. Yep, get rid of this. We don't need ephemeral eyes. I'm not going human if I die, so... Uh, turpentine, no use in the next world. Throwing knives, I'm not really going to need... These are worth it. I can think of one area in particular I'll use them in. Alright, broad. Claymore. Claymore. Yeah. Yeah. Spiked. So, we need some decks to use this. Yeah. It's, um... It's alright from memory. As you can see, the cart shield's already, well, way better in guard, rid in guard break. Even if I hadn't, I uh, hadn't have upgraded it, still better. It is lighter though. Hmm. So yeah, that's fine. It has a shield bash though. So a shield with countless spikes on the front. It is also meant to be used for attacking and can be used to pierce the enemy. This is one of the rarer weapons and does not often see use in combat. Yeah, because it's kind of impractical. So, you'll notice. If for some reason you want to hit with shields, they do strike, this one does piercing. Like it states. So, yeah, that's alright. Get rid of them, we'll keep arrows. We'll get rid of the plate. I'll just stick with this. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Hmm. We are in. Thanks, man. What do you got, Baldwin? Is there anything I can buy off him I haven't? Alright, heat a shield. I really like the heater shield. I'll hold off buying it for now just cause battle axe, well I like my axes like I said, but we are gonna get one that is somewhat upgraded in the next level so I'll stick with that. Short sword, I'll, um, I'll pick up the short sword and dagger later on. I'm gonna buy some arrows just as backup. Now the only problem with arrows is, as you'll see, I'm on 35.5, 37.5. Arrows aren't too bad, but they definitely add up pretty quickly. Before we level, let's go have a chat to Ostrava over here and see what he has to say. At its peak, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. In the distant southern kingdom, Boletaria was known as paradise on earth. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. So, I don't know if it's kind of a leap of leap in logic to begin with. Um, but, given he's talking about his father, and this context seems to suggest, suggest he's in a position of power, yeah, you'd be right to assume, yeah. Um, King Alant Here in Boletaria, we speak of father. the legend of the Two Swords and the Last Hero. The Two Swords are Demon Brandt and Soul Brandt. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. The last hero is Old King Doran. King Doran is the Everlasting One, founder of Boletaria and protector of the Two Swords. <laughs> Of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, legends are all we can depend upon. 
Yeah, so uh, King Doran totally exists. As to where, well, I don't know. Um, hmm. A little unrelated, but eventually I will go back and get vengeance on that red-eyed knight. Yep. Oh, and so, you know, King... Um, we saw um, King Doran on the loading screen. He's the guy I commented had Gundy's armor. Or rather, Gundy is based off him. Thou seeketh so anyway. Then touch the demon and... What have you say, girl? Alrighty, we'll get a little more health. Cause, uh, that's handy. A little more endurance. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gouge health. So, as you can see, this is, this is the best we can do. And I've ended on two odd numbers, which will probably trigger someone really, really badly. I mean, look at all the odd numbers we have, actually. 11 faith, 11 intelligence. Man. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Anyway. Oh, maybe I should have got more strength, because I could have used the shield coming up begging soon. for a magic lesson? Um, I don't know if I'm begging, but I'm going to ask. Radio. So, given where we are going is a place with some fire. What avail would be pretty handy? I'm going to want this later on anyway, so I'll probably grab it. Soul Arrow is awesome for where we're going to. Now, I can only take one spell in with me because of my intelligence. And this would be nice. But I don't think I really need it. I'd rather have this for the boss. Um, I could definitely try to snipe the boss, but... Oh, sorry, I should actually probably check. Are you begging for a minute? Anything else to say? Nope. Let's have a look. Me? Without doubt, I made my best effort to save Sage Freak. But I had not the strength. This is simple as that. Besides, if I myself were captured, who would stand here and recruit rescuers? Besides, if I myself... I see. Just ensure that you... Oh, wait. Hold on. You... So, this is the thing you gotta remember. You gotta remember to remember. Be careful. Normally, it would not be granted to one such as yourself. I had to make an exception for the sake of Sage Freak. Yep, alrighty. So we have learned Water Veil. Normally a pretty bad ability in Pokemon, but... Hello, Hank. Eh, it's got its juices. I guess Floatzel likes it. Burn immunity is pretty good on a physical sweeper. Alrighty. Let's have a look. Do I have... Okay, I was under the wrong option. We'll grab some Old Spice. Yep. We ah. can't buy any spice from Baldwin, can we? Yes, we can. Fresh Spice. We'll grab two. So some. This will this will restore a little less. Do come Let's back see. alive. I need your business. Oh, he's Sun Sun, look at him. Okay, now let's just make sure before we leave. Yep. So I can dump these. Cause fuck it. So that'll lighten the load a little bit. Oh, reorganize. You know. DS, DS3 and DS2's menus are better, but I kind of miss the reorganize option from this and one. I forget if Bloodborne even gave you the option. I don't, yeah, I really don't remember. Anyway, let's just have a look at the weapons I'm bringing before we go in. Oh, Spike Shield. Yeah, you can get fucked. I don't need that. Hello again. I really don't need that. Um, I might use it for a bit. Shield Bash is okay. I, you know, I like the shield bass move sets in, um, with you. Uh, like, I like trying to use it, but it's not the best. Ah, fuck it, we've got it. You know what, dagger will actually be kind of handy. Do. Yeah, 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 I know. Do come back alive, I need your business, yeah. Alrighty, so daggers. Slash, slash, slash. Should be a poke. No, it's a slash, huh? Let's have a look. Do daggers, no, daggers do some frost in this game, right? Yeah, we do. Um, yeah. Frosting attacks are pretty good in the next area. That's a big old stab. I assume that counts as frost. Ah, well, we'll keep it honest. It's super light, so who cares? 0.5, that's nothing. Alrighty. Uh, we'll take the spice off for now. We won't need it immediately. Alrighty. Let's read this. City of the Burrowers, Keeper of the Huge Tunnel. 
most of the stubborn excavators who supported the soldiers of Voluntaria had their souls taken, lacking their own will, they mindlessly continue working. Again, I'm preaching in Zelda. This is why you you are uh, unionized, people. If they had some kind of collective, they could uh, resist this. But ah, what can you do? What can you do? Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm going to ruffle some feathers when I talk shit about Naughty Dog in the future. And no, not about Last of Us 2. I ain't getting involved in that. I mean, when I talk shit about... Yeah. Hey, I, I'm off topic, but Crunch is fucked. So, um... Mmm. Means someone up high, you know, higher up the chain fucked up, not workers typically. So, you know. Just putting it out there. Crunch is bad no matter what. Even if they're going to make a highly anticipated cyberpunk game. Hmm. Good thing I don't care about Witcher. Anyway, we'll talk to you in a sec. We got this guy to talk about. Now I've ruffled feathers, perhaps. And I've been pretty good at staying on topic. I haven't really talked too much about stuff other than uh, Demon Souls. Up until then. Yeah, you are. You have a solid point. You have a good point there. Yeah, uh, that floor doesn't look nearly as nice, does it? I mean, it turns into a place, but yeah. Oh, that's rough. Let's have a look. What did you do? I. Right. You, uh... You good there, buddy? Okay. Um, don't know why you do that. But cool. Oh yeah, if you think you can hear someone, yeah, you can. So this is cleverly placed so we can't get through. Huh. Let's see, can we see him come down? Very good. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna set this off just while I have a conversation. So over here is another merchant. Ah, uh, I'd say he's a cool guy, but he's not really. So we'll have a chat to him. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Hello there, souls. Souls. I trade fine goods for souls. Meet the filthy man. Uh, there's not a lot about him, to be honest, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it's Grindstone. Okay, so that's weird. Normally, um... I should have noted, normally you get one from the, um... The Blue-Eyed Knight at our, our Tower Knight. But this is the one time I never did. So this is repair powder for out in the field. So yeah, that's pretty good. On, only on the right hand though. Only on the right. Um, you can buy all from him, so, you know, I could have always done that if need be, but 500 apiece. Nah. Pickaxe. Thrusting. Pretty good. I'd buy it, except for the fact we can get one in about five minutes, so, no. Oh, a little town. Well, it's a nice wee place. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone. And don't bother with old men like myself. Makes life rather easy for me. I can get away with anything. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this golden opportunity. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a real character. Have you heard about that sparkling lizard? Yeah, just he's fucked it up. Yeah, what about catch, it? But he's got some fine stones. And I know where his nest is. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give it away. <laughs> you know where the nest is. Thank you, Lord. Okay. You want to play? Well, you've got to pay. Don't you agree? Eh. I don't know if I agree with that. Depends on the context. So yeah, he's got a little campfire here. Yeah. He's in existence, I can't really, uh, yeah. Yeah, can't say much about him. He's a lot of him, I guess. Just he's obviously a bit of a scumbag. Oh. So yeah, uh, this is where the Yetis in Bloodborne come from. Cool, I know. You know what? That is solid advice. A lot of these enemies hate backstabs. 
So it's a good thing I was talking about the colourless demons, because down this way, speaking of which, watch this sick fall. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, back in 1-1, one, one, this is this is another place you can get a colourless demon's soul right here. Pretty cool. Um, you know, you don't really need them in this part of the game, but yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Um, I'm sorry, I was going to give you a like, but the, uh... I was decided I wasn't going to. Oh, look at items over there. Huh. Wonder if we can get there. Alright, so I've made the mistake of jumping off here a few times. We actually want to go up here. Alright, so... You know what? Catalyst. Probably going to change my arm around a bit, but... Yeah, you know, look at this look. Uh, we're going to be a nerd and use magic. So this is the Fat Minister proper. They have fire. They have fire toss. They have combustion. Yeah, that shit hurts. You gotta be careful. Combustion up close is really fucking bad. Oh my god. They also have the whips. So despite the fact these guys are not holding axes, they can drop the prison axe. Now, I like the prison axe in theory, but I'd prefer the great axe, like I said. They also drop full moon grass. That's cool. Hey buddies. So these are the lizard eyed folk. Which the blue man was talking about. The scale miner. So normally I would have walked a little further ahead that way to the left. Instead of coming up here first, but I figured I'd take care of them now. Um there's a bunch of them down there just mining away. So, you know. Crossing battle axe, there we go. Let's heal up. I'm taking a I'm taking the fast way. So you can try to get this while they're bombing your blocks, but fuck that. Ah, uh, take a like. You know why? Let's read about sticky white stuff. Sticky white stuff, a sticky wax, white wax-like substance, apply it to the right-hand weapon for a magical effect. It is said to be the waste product of a magical slug that, uh, that bathed in flu fluorescent water. I don't know why I fucked that up, but yeah. Ah, uh, so yeah, um, Souls players mature, am I right? Yeah. I mean, then again, they did call it sticky white stuff, so what do you want them to do? I can't entirely blame them. There is a great view ahead. That's one thing I should do, in fact, while I'm at it. It's not the prettiest, but I like it. I like the fact you can see, like, that's where this little land starts. It's pretty cool. Okay, what's the time? 1.38. Probably go for another 50, I figure. Yeah, so this is why Soul Arrow would have been great. But, yeah. Yeah, that, that required being a nerd. So, you will see the frosting weapons pretty good in these guys. Too bad we don't have a proper frosting weapon yet. If you have a rapier, this is the perfect time to use it. Let's, uh, let's equip the dagger, because I can, yeah, I can hold on to it. I got enough weight. So, let's just see. Slashing, not very good. Oh yeah, the Thick Axe guys, um, they have some hyper armor. They're kind of fucked. So, look at that, 40 damage. Let's see. 59, uh, 59, 53. Uh-oh. So yeah, Dagger's actually pretty good. I probably should have brought the Broad or... I should have brought a, sh you know, Long Sword or got the Short Sword or something. A Sword or some script, but... Dagger's not half bad for this. Dagger's not half bad. Not that I've really tried it for this before. Want it ring back, Sab? Yep. Yeah, yeah, Dagger's pretty good for this too. Now, behind there, you might be able to make out a shape. Or something. It's kind of hard to see. No, no, you can definitely see that. Oh yeah, we uh, killed a bag-holding scale miner. They give you lots of good materials. Anyway, what I was trying to point out there. Behind those pots, you may see a few wagging tails. Yep. You might be able to hear him. Yep, that's uh, typically what happens. 
Let's go. So anyway, I was talking about uh, packs of dogs earlier. Yeah. Fuck them. What the hell? What is this Sonic the Hedgehog bullshit? Get over here. Fucking, what, what are you doing? What the hell was that? <laughs> That's like DS3 invasions where like you run up and then just like jump into a plunging attack or something. That dog. Yeah, he had a fucking plan. I just don't know what the plan was. It was fucking strange. Alright, yeah, here we go. So the only reason they didn't aggro from that range to begin with was because of their line of sight being blocked. Something that doesn't really stop a lot of Dark Souls enemies, actually. Um, in the context of, like, destructible things in the, in the, in the environment. See, so can we parry you? Yep. So that's where that animation comes from. I've never tried to parry him before. I swear that was beginner's luck. Okay, another fat minister. I'm not too worried about the fire this time. Except for the part where we can't really get behind him too easily. So let's just, uh... Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, they got poise. And they've got a pretty good roll catch, apparently. Come on, if we can just hide here. And we can circle... We can break them. Look at these fat fox. Okay, chunk of hard stone. Boy, that would have been handy. Clear stone. Cool. So unfortunately, what I feel like is going to happen is... I'm going to... Actually, it's not too bad. So, this level has a nice shortcut about towards the middle. Um, yeah, about towards the middle. So what we'll do is we'll unlock it and we'll... I mean, I can't... Oh, take a like anyway. I don't really get it, to be honest, but sure. Um, it's um, the shortcut's right near the blacksmith. Um, a fellow blacksmith. The only other one in the game. So, yeah. And he takes care of boss weapons. The only problem is, we need to get him something so he can make boss weapons for us. Not what I wanted, but sure. That's what I was waiting for. So, the main problem is with the dagger. It does a slash after the initial thrust. So, we just want to R1 back up, R1 back up. Yeah, pickaxe is right around the corner. Not this corner, but a corner in about 10 seconds. Ah, fuck it. There's no item here. Yep, no item here. I know there isn't, but I just like to check in case. Crescent moon grass yet again. No scale miner. Pickaxe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll have to show off the battle axe. So let's have a look. Um, I'd be... Yeah, no, I'd, um... I'd have weight problems if I tried to use them. I'll show off the uh, crushing battle axe. Um, hmm. Maybe it'll be good against Fatty up there. Put the dagger back on. Yeah, we can drop down and there's a bunch of scale minus there now. Okay, he hasn't seen this yet, so let's have a little weapon showcase. One, two, three, four. Yep. You get the gist of it. It's a Dark Souls style battle axe. Holy shit, really? Huh. Cool. He's probably gonna fucking wreck me, but holy shit. I've never had PvP in this game. So that gate's locked. We need to get to that switch down there. Huh. Wow. Hmm. Wow, that's fucking weird. I didn't think we didn't get invaded in Bloodborne once. Alright, so you can see messages there. By rolling down there, you can do some no-clip bullshit and, like, walk over the boss. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. This bridge will fucking break, so we're going to walk on the correct side. Go run. We're going to go for a backstab. Unfortunately, we're just going to push him. The inv invader's probably going to know where we are, because he'll see damage numbers. Huh. I wonder where he is. Uh-oh. That was greedy. I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have gone for that. Oh well. Huh. 
I wonder where he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, friend. He's gonna fuck me up. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Whee! That was clever. Like that the lever. Interested to see if he goes for a back step. So there'll be a cutscene. So I'm subjecting the invader to it. So that's uh, that's cool. Huh. Don't think they'll ever see this video, but if they do, rad. So we got some scale miners. I'll give him a fight if he wants to come down. I'll go meet him. Let me just go back to the one miner that's going to cause the problem. I mean, it's the second one there. And let's do this. Now we can give him a fight if we if he wants. I don't know if he's gonna wanna, but we'll see. I'm pleasantly surprised we got invasion. He seems rather cool though, the fact he's not uh trying to murder me yet. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Just want to be careful he's not going to try to do a backstab or something. I'd like you, but uh, we uh, got we got to deal with him. Huh. That's rare. I mean, I guess it's because this game's so old. Um, that, and you know, because we're on a private server. That he's not going full, uh, full scumbag immediately. Where'd he go? Is he running ahead into level? Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah. Let's go. I don't know how to gesture. So, yeah. Oh, nice. He's wearing old King Doran sit, by the way. And he has a lot of health, as you can see. That. Yep. Okay. Whoop. Now, I didn't bring my poison shit, so that's perfect. So, I'm on a timer. As you can see, we've got the poison icon next to me. We, however, um, have no gauge, unlike the other Souls games. So, you know what? This is great. Well, the guy's got me, so let's just, uh, let's just let him have it. I really wasn't expecting an invasion. Holy shit. Good shit, good shit. I could heal, but nah, it's kind of a waste of resources and just prolonging the inevitable. Is he casting Plague? He's going for the backstab, I think. So, on the back, he's got the Adjudicator Shield, which is pretty fucking red. Holy shit. I don't know how I'm avoiding all this. Maybe it's shitty Australian internet on my behalf. We, uh... Bleeding. There we go. Good shit. Good shit. So that would be a Dragon Weapon he used. Oh, and there's not even enough time for him to, like, bow or gesture. That's a shame. I don't think he was going to point down. How the fuck do you gesture in this game? I've never figured it out. Yeah, so see, I'm talking myself up, but I don't even know how to gesture. I don't think I can on this. That sucks. Oh, well. We'll figure it out one day. So, um, right now, because I died in human form, the second we leave... That was good. This gives me a chance to talk about it. The second we leave, we'll be knocked down um, a step in world tendency. So we'll go from pure white to, um, well, just below that. So that doesn't really matter too much. Um, which is fine, because I'm going to leave anyway, um, halfway through the level. And that's, that actually works out pretty well, because beating the boss will kick us back up to pure white. That said, um... Well, you know, I was talking about using messages to reset tendencies, so that's fine too. 
So I got no issues there. So I guess that's why you carry uh, poison moss on you. Well, not poison moss in this game, but you get my meaning. Alrighty. So we don't need Herculean strength anymore. So I was kind of gimping myself on rings to begin, to begin with. So meh. All right, worst comes to worst, I have to get rid of the thief ring. Oh no, how tragic! Ma having to make tough decisions in a Souls game. How dare I? How dare the game expect me to change up my ring slot? I do really like having four rings, um, like in the newer ones, like from two onwards. But there is some, there is something nice about being limited to two, because it meant the rings could be a lot better. Because boy. Um, Chloranthian DS2 was still pretty decent, but boy is it fucking gimped in 3. The plus 3 really doesn't do that much. And even then, well yeah, it's a plus 3 ring. Base Chloranthian ring, to my knowledge, really isn't worth it, even at the um, start of Dark Souls 3. Meanwhile, in DS2, it's pretty good no matter what. It's not amazing. I don't... Is it as good as Dark Souls 1? I don't know. Anyway, um, cool thing. That also gives me a chance to talk about it. So he was wearing Old King Doran set. Cool thing about that is, that's where we get the equivalent of the Chloramphi ring. Um, I should mention that stamina regen, in case you don't know Soul Speak. In which case, um, props to you for even watching this then. Okay, you know, I was wondering, like, given how the server's set up, I was like, I'm sure we can do multiplayer, but I'd never engaged in any, so that's pretty cool. That, uh, that confirms that we can. Alrighty, now we roll back. Hmm, speaking of multiplayer, it makes me wonder with the remake, um, what matchmaking system they're gonna go with. Because, yeah, it makes me wonder if it's gonna be, like, DS, uh, remastered in 3, where it's weapon matchmaking, or if it's just, like, level matchmaking, or it's completely broken like this. Because anyone can invade anyone in this game, no matter the level. The surprising thing is we were doing a decent amount of damage to him, which is weird. Unless he was intentionally low level himself, but that didn't seem right. He had Doran's armor, he made it a lot of a way through the game. But then again, uh, maybe by the time it's out, I don't know, there's a video I'm waiting to watch. Um, Demon Souls Soul Level 1. By our good old friends over at the Yamtha. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't fucking know. Y M F A. So I, I'm excited to watch that. Now uh, let's go get fatty. Oh boy, that worked well. Um, I didn't even mean to do that, so uh, that's great. That's good. That's good. That's good shit. Uh, well done, me. Well, we didn't kill all of them anyway, so let's uh, let's go rectify this. Hey buddy, you you good? I'm just backstabbing your comrades over here. You uh you want to get some? Yep. R1 into your backstep into the R1 into the R1. With a little break in between. So yeah, power thrusting weapons. Um, that was weird. I'll take it, but still fucking weird. Item? It's grindstone. That stuff is heavy. So let's have a look while we're, um, while we can't be invaded. Huh. A sharpening stone used by Ed, the blacksmith of Stonefang, reduces the wear on right hand weapons and restores its durability. Amazing. I mean, we already kind of looked at that, but... You are, you good up there, buddy? You are, you having a giggle, are you? Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah. I like the fat menaces, but man, fuck him. He knows the code. It's not about the salary. It's all about reality. I'm making some noise here. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know why I just fucking went into quoting Fort Minor, but there you go. I've only ever heard that one song by him, so, yeah. Okay. Here's a thing to look at. So. Clear stone. This is for quality weapons. A shard of crystallized white ore capable of enhancing a variety of weapons. 
So I think it's pretty much every weapon um, that's not a boss weapon can use this shit. And all which requires skill and expertise to make high quality weapons with. So, plus five. Um, the upgrade tree in this game is weird. Now, I could be getting this wrong, but I'm pretty sure how Clearstone works is you get weapons to plus three with hard or sharp stone, and then you can branch off into clear weapons. It's a number like that. I don't remember the exact thing, but it should be something like that. Fuck you. That was my bad. He's good at roll catching this guy. There we go. Yum yum. Eat up. Hmm. Well, on the plus side, we can't be invaded again, so it's not too bad. Um, I've tried this before. Not to kill Armor Spider the cheap way, because that's kind of bullshit. But just to see. You have to know where you're walking, because... Oh boy, the telescope sure would be handy here. No, it's a fucking lie. So it's kind of hard to make out. And I have to jump down... Ah, fuck it, let's try this. So, yeah, no, it's, you guys aren't going to be able to make this out. So you can see how there's a cliff to the right of a wall. Um, yeah. You land down there, and you have to know exactly where to walk, or you will just fall. Because there's no collision on most of the land down there. But yeah, you can walk over um, the tunnel the boss fight occurs in, the armor spider. And uh, yeah, you can just walk behind it, attack its weak point, and then uh, get the arc zone. You just gotta reload on the other side. Yeah, so that was the flame salamander, by the way. And that's the shard of meltstone. So yeah, we just murked the uh, charmander. Haha, <laughs> that's a little joke. Yeah. Uh, no item here, no item here. Their lighting is super cool. They heat up the closer we get. I don't think there's a war reason, I think it's just how it looks. So Meltstone. A shard of lava containing intense heat. This unique ore can melt all other ores and return an enhanced weapon to its original state. So if we use that on our plus one bastard sword, we would get a bastard sword. If we had a plus, fly, uh, plus five quality um, bastard sword, don't know why you do that, but hey, uh, we would go back to base level Bastard Sword. If we had Blessed, which is the Faith Scaling, yeah, same thing. You get the picture. It's what the uh, Shriving Stone does in DS3. Or just degrading, you know, um, unupgrading your weapons rather in the other ones. Hmm. So uh, this is fun. I'm sorry I'm positioning the camera through the uh, box, but hey, that's it. Oh. I got rid of the bow, did I? Oh, that's fucking clever of me. Holy shit. Yeah, no, I didn't bring the bow, but I brought the arrows. Huh. Oh, well. Just in case. Let's cast water down. Boy, sure wish I had those knives. Ah, oh, fuck off, guys, sir. Yep, here we go. So, there are some in there, but if you kill them, well, you can't get the right in, so... Okay, let's have a look. Let's, let's learn their patterns a little bit. Except for you. Fuck you. So if they do that shake like it was doing, that means they're going for their jump. So he was going to. Let's just kill you. Then we can observe this one. In its natural habitat. Oh, dragon's done. Good. Even more shit to talk about. So yeah. They do that weird shake and then they just kind of stretch forward. In like a weird way. Weird animated way. Yeah, this, um... I don't believe this llama... This llama? This lava drops. Holy shit, they got fucked. I feel bad for them. Holy crap. Cool. Sharp dragon stone. So. Um, based on the curved sword the, uh, the invader was using, you might have noticed it hit me with fire damage. Um, I Actually, you know what? I don't think it can be, because I don't think you can get dragon curved swords. But anyway, point is... Uh, a shard of dragon bone fossilized by lava. Enhances straight swords, axes, hammers. So this is the whole thing where it's like... Strength leaning weapons will take this. Um, halberds can be infused with it too, by the way. That's worth noting. So it's an ore that applies the power of fire to a weapon. Can be strengthened to plus five. So if you... Because there's no roar in this game. That's pretty much the... Um, 
just the fire infusion from Dark Souls 3, where it's a non-scaling um, infusion. So if you want to focus on health endurance, um, maybe a magic stat, not bad. Pretty worthwhile. Now these guys, what can they drop? There's a cool weapon they can drop, I totally forget. I totally forget, but it'd be cool if we got it. Oh well. Get shanked. Hmm. They can, um, all these guys I'm pretty sure can drop some, uh, Titanite and stuff. Titanite, what am I saying? Um, some hard and sharp stone. Hard and sharp so. Okay, now this isn't the intended way to go. Well, actually, sorry, that is the intended way. We want to go the shortcut way. Hammer guys, get shanked. Mallet guy, get shanked. Bad guy will be shanked in a second too. Well, this bad guy will be. What do we got? Hard, 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 hard. That's a lot of hard stone. And gray stone. Ah, cool. So I didn't really talk about it, but the axe was infused with hardstone. With, um, sorry, what am I saying? The, the uh, crushing battle axe is infused with grey stone. Hence the, uh, crushing, why well, it's called a crushing battle axe. I'm gonna recommend that shit. Yep, alrighty. Take a recommendation. Shit, I fucked that up. Hey, so look, that's the start of a level. Just down there. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, you've, uh, you got a solid point there, friend. So that's where our, uh, boulder-throwing friends live. And, uh, you'll notice something. Well, they're back. Because they didn't kill them this time. Yeah, so uh, if you look through that doorway, you, uh, can't see the inside of it. You can just kind of see, uh, through where the level's meant to load. And you can see the cliff. So that's, uh, how's well done, Frontsoft. Good shit. So, while I'm at it, pickaxe. I don't have the decks, do I? Okay, cool. Good to, good to know. Grey stone. Grey ore that gives off a dull light. Enhances strength, yep. Strength weapons, basically. Strength, strength leaning weapons. An ore to make weapons whose sheer power can bludgeon foes. Weapons can be strengthened by grey stones up to a maximum level of five. So yeah, crushing battle axe uses that kind of thing. So let's see, pickaxe, what do I need? 12 decks, got it. Good to know. So, you know, kind of hammer. Typical hammer move set. Got some nice hits like that. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, identical to the club, actually. Main thing is, it does thrusting, which, as you can tell in this level, is pretty rad. Hmm. 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 Think. Think. Hmm. Oh, ho. Hmm. No, there's no secret in this game. I mean, there's an equivalent. Of course there is. This is the first one. Of course there has to be. Everything in Dark Souls 1 just about came from this game. We'll get you on the way up. So yeah, that's, the, uh, that's back to the start. But well, we're going to go down here and have a little chat. You can drop pretty easily here. Um, for some reason, you seem to take even less full damage, which is not a complaint. Now, I wonder if the invader can get in here. Mm. Probably. I haven't seen you around these parts. Nah. What does it matter? You need a blacksmith? Show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. Yeah, so he's even more abrasive than Baldwin. So meet Blacksmith Ed. Let's I'm have a chat. Busy. I'm not here to chit chat. Forging a weapon strengthens it. Alters its character. Wars are transmogrified sprites. Their presence blesses the weapon. Yeah, so that wasn't intentional, but I knew he was kind of a shit. Wars are trans. Okay, so same thing. Upgrade. So yeah, this is pretty handy because well, we're in the midst of a level, so we don't even really need to back out to do this. But I'm gonna anyway, cause fuck it. Okay, now if I leave, what happens? What be your need? If it be a blacksmith, then show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. Now fuck you. Okay, he's got a head. Don't. Yeah, so someone's a, someone's a champion. Up. Oh. No, Ed, I'm just admiring this message. <laughs> 
Oh, I take a like. Now on the off chance, I'm gonna aggro him. I'm not gonna walk on his head. That could be, uh, that could be bad. No time to read messages. What are you doing, scallion? So this is that item we can see from over there. See, that's the uh, cliff where I was talking about the colorless demon. So we are over here now. And the crystal lizard would have lived just up there. Anyway, time to head up. We are going to head back because we can probably grab a level. If not, I'll just pop a soul. Yeah, why not? I will have to dupe, um... Actually, I don't have to dupe, um, Tower Knights because I'm pretty sure he only makes warding. Same with Phalanx, but... Ah, it's good to have just in case. 